So part 2A4, C3, M1, B7, C8, E13, C9, C6, D3, P33. Line 22, F1, F8, 19, C3, M1, B7, C8, E13, C9, C6, D3, P33. Bronner, Emmett, Teller, Rainey, Nickel, Metals, 5G, Well, SETI. Here's the alien radio signal. And this is BET Law's Rainy Nickel Bendable Metals for the UFO spaceship from the Well Data. January 25, 2013 was when I was doing the research. Today is February the 4th. So the rainy type nickel started here, line 22, F1, FA, 19C3, M1, B7, C8, E13, C9, C6, D, 3P23. Synchrotron X-ray, rainy nickel, keywords are 5G well steady. Data from our previous video is line 22, F1, FA, 19C3, M1, B7, C8, E, 13C9, C6, D, 3P32. Rainy nickel bendable metals, alloys, and then it says, now it says formula. I just changed it two seconds ago and added another video just to, because there's this little formula in the bottom of it showing how to do the bendable metals so I thought I better add that there. The formula from that video was rainy type nickel plus liquid archon gas plus cooled plasma plus the keyword BET Bronner Emmett Teller quote from Wiki BET theory aims to explain the physical absorption of gas molecules on a solid surface and serves as the basis for an important analysis technique for the measurement of the specific surface area of a metal. The concept of the theory is an extension of the Langmuir theory, which is a theory of monolayer molecular absorption, to multilayer absorption with the following hypotheses. A. Gas molecules physically absorb on a solid in layers infinitely. B. There is no interaction between each absorption layer. And C. The Langmuir theory can be applied to each layer. The resulting BET equation is expressed by one. And let's see, this is the equation here. And it's quite a big one. So P and PO are the equilibrium in the saturation pressure of absorbents at the temperature absorption. V is the absorbed gas quantity, for example, in volume units. And VM is the monolayer absorbed gas quantity. And C is the Beck constant, which is expressed by 2. So there's that there again. And then we'll go to number 2 here. Here's the other equation. E1 is the heat of absorption for the first layer, and EL is that for the second and higher layers, and is equal to the heat of liquefaction. And then there's this diagram, which is a BET plot equation, is an absorption isotherm, and can be plotted as a straight line with this equation. And on the y-axis and this equation on the x-axis, according to the experimental results, the plot is called a BET plot. The linear relationship of this equation is maintained only in the range of 0 0.0.5 and there's another equation for you to look at. The value of the slope A and the y-intercept I of the line are used to calculate the monolayer absorbed gas quantity Vm or Um, I don't know what that means, and the Beck constant C. The following equations can be used, 3 and 4, okay? So the BET method is a widely used in surface science for the calculation of surface areas of solids by physical absorption of gas molecules. A total surface area and a specified surface area are evaluated by the following equations. Where is in the units of volume, where, which are also the units of the molar volume of the adsorbent gas for this. Lots of equations here, a whole pile of them. Avogadro's number and S, absorption cross-section of the absorbing species, V, molar, molar volume of absorbent gas is A, and A is massive absorbent in G. Assuming an Arrhenius law for desorption, the related constants can be expressed as, and there's that calculation there. Now see this doesn't have a box to make it bigger, so what you do is you highlight it, and I got the font at 20, so watch what I do here if I make it bigger so you can see it. There you go. See, isn't that cool? I learned how to do that <laughs> after about 300 videos. <laughs> Where EI is the heat of absorption equals EI, E1, at this, uh, E with the little... Oh, e with a little tiny one beside it at the sample surface and to E with a little L beside it otherwise. Keyword Arnhenius Law is going to be in the next video. Thank you for watching.